Hi, we're Beth and Jake. We live full-time in our self-built tiny wood cabin on wheels. This week we've been exploring the west coast of the NC500 in Scotland. Welcome back. This week we're continuing on with our NC500 journey and we are doing the west side of it. Mm -hmm. And we're very excited because we are right now outside of Kairosku Bridge area and it's already phenomenal. The mountains here are just crazy and we can't wait to bring you along and show you what we get to see. Our first stop was the Wailing Widow Falls. We both agreed that this is our favourite waterfall in the whole of the UK. We actually came here twice in the same day, once early in the morning and again in the evening. It gets fairly busy, so choose your visiting time wisely. So we're just on our way back from that waterfall now. The walk is quite short, it's only about 10-20 minutes depending on how good you are at walking over lots of rocks. The car park is quite small um, but it's free and you can walk all the way to the bottom of the waterfall here, like pretty much right up to the water, literally right up to the water, it's amazing. Um, and now we're going to head around to the very top car park which means that we'll be able to see the waterfall from the top so we'll show you that in a minute. And now we are just on our way up to see the top of the waterfall and how the, the water cascades down from the lock. It's only a couple of minutes walk from the side of the road car park, so we'll show you what it looks like now. Get ready because we are about to show you the very best view of this waterfall and the lock above it. Just be careful if you choose to walk to the top as it can get really wet and boggy. So we just walked right to the top of the waterfall and followed a really small path that kind of doesn't look like a path to come all the way around the, the kind of cliff around it and now from here it's like the perfect viewpoint you can see the whole lock and the waterfall going into the lake at the bottom it's absolutely incredible and I think that not many people were brave enough to kind of walk all the way up here and see the view or even know that you can so we feel very lucky to be up here at the moment. <laughs> Driving around Scotland has not been a problem for us. Yes, there have been some extremely narrow roads, but because our van is so small, it's been a breeze. The problem is, the views are so incredibly breathtaking, it can be a little distracting for the driver. That's why we make sure to take lots of little breaks to have a good look around. This is packed messy falls, but unfortunately there's not much water at the moment, which is fortunate because it hasn't been raining, but make sure there's been some rain if you want to see the grand falls. Uh, but otherwise it's a very nice place and a little short walk to get here and the drive to get here whoa, is sublime if like Beth you are confident at driving a very narrow road with a steep drop up on either side. Anyway, we're going to go further now and go to Clack Hole. 
Time to visit one of Scotland's most famous beaches. If you book well in advance, you can stay at the campsite right next to the beach, but we prefer the wilderness anyway, so just spend the day there. The beach car park is pretty small and has a sign saying no large motorhomes or caravans. So right now we are off to find Europe's smallest castle, supposedly, <laughs> and it's obviously a bit of fun really, but we just found it amongst all of these rocks. It and did take a while to find actually, <laughs> because um, it does blend in with the rocks, but and the scenery in this area is amazing. We're right on the coast, mm. just and the it's ocean. kind of a hidden gem. Like people stay in that campsite, they don't even know it exists. But mm. rumor has it that a man built it for over six months out of concrete, and it blends in with all the rocks and in, here. In 1950, you said. In the 1950s, mm. and then as the story goes, he only spent one weekend in it before thinking, "Nah, it's too cold and exposed. I can't handle it," and left it never to return. So. I hope I, you know, built it up and you enjoy seeing this. When should we move in? Now! <laughs> All right, we found the entrance, but I had to take my backpack off to get in. Whoo! Wow! Oh my God. I don't want to come in, I'm scared. No, you've got to do it. Oh, I can't actually fit through the door with that back on. <laughs> wow, so it feels a bit more like a prison than an actual castle. It's a one room thing. Here we go. Oh, there's a 360 view of it. <laughs> got a little kitchen shelves. Here's a little little bed area, maybe a bed, I don't know. And obviously all the uh, air holes. <laughs> wow. And then back out the door, this way, you can see what he was living with. Would you like to come stay here? Maybe buy it? Let us know. This whole area was beautiful. You can walk all the way around the cliffs if you don't fancy relaxing on the beach. As much as it's great to plan all of the places you want to stop at, sometimes you'll just come across some cool things while you're driving. Here's a perfect example of that. Whilst trying to find a nice little place to park for the night, we stumbled across this small castle ruin. We have just stopped off at a little castle ruin. It's beautiful. This is officially the first time that we have been really having a midgy problem because they are everywhere. Like on the walk here, we just had to cover our mouths and nose because we didn't want to breathe too many in. But it is absolutely beautiful. You can see behind me um, the reflection, the castle. Um, yeah, it's amazing. We'll put the name of this one down here because I've forgotten it already. Um, really, really, really beautiful area. Just the whole drive through here is just so impressive. You're just driving through the mountains the whole way and the amount of just locks that are just perfect. And as it's so still right now, um, I guess the fact that it's not windy it means there are lots of midges, but as it's so still, the reflections of the mountains in the water are amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it's another day and we spent last night driving quite a bit, um, some amazing scenery through all of the, I don't know where it was called because I don't know where it was, but it was amazing. And the um, reason, oh, sorry, the reason it was so amazing is we haven't really driven kind of late at night before, but we mm. were driving up until about half ten, or no, about quarter past ten we finished driving, and the sunset colours were incredible. We saw oh. loads of deer, we saw loads of rabbits. It was amazing. Um, so we enjoyed our evening driving experience. We did, and then this morning we went to Ullapool for a quick pit stop. Mm. I went to the large Tesco's they have there to we're pick up. very excited. <laughs> Here we were, biggest shop in a long time. And uh, now we have uh, come into the last stretch of the NT500 and we just pulled over at a marvellous spot, mm. looking looking over, overlooking Corey Shalock Gorge. Mm. I think it should give you a show. It's really nice. 
And so I think, yeah, I think we've really got a day or two left of the NT500. Um, and then our plans after that is to explore the Isle of Skye and to do Glencoe, um, Glencoe as well, because the weather yes. was so bad last time we were there. But this all depends on midges, because mm. so far we really haven't had any problem with them at all. But looking at the smidge map where they show the forecast for how much midge activity there is, where we're going now is where yeah. the height of their activity is and someone someone sent um, me a message on instagram yesterday to this photo that someone else had posted on the on the west coast i'm not sure exactly where but their van was so covered in midges you mm. couldn't even like see the van it there was just like no. a carpet of them so yeah. we were so i think obviously nervous. we're not gonna suffer through that and we'll just uh see what it's like fingers crossed it's okay yeah. fingers crossed there's enough wind and it keeps them away that's what's happening right now and it's beautiful windy, yeah. but let's see where we get to after this Whew. okay so this is Loch Marie and what a surprise to turn out to be because it's absolutely beautiful yeah. that mountain over there is magnificent and this little lake here people are swimming quite brave not sure we're <laughs> going to do it it's very very cold still Jake did suggest it but I'm definitely not going to go in because this is a cold wind as soon as you're wet it'll be freezing but it's really nice to look at mm. Um, so definitely worth coming here. You can't camp here, no. but worth coming here for the day. Yeah, the road to get here is quite narrow, not mm -hmm. many pull-in spots, so just be careful when coming yeah. down. And yeah, it's a good day spot, isn't it? Yeah, and we just saw the most insane house oh, yeah. back there. Like, wow, I can't even believe someone lives there. They've yeah. got the most impressive house as well, but an incredible view too. And now we're just going to go head off and try and find another waterfall before continuing with the adventure. Next we visited Victoria Falls. Due to a lack of rain, which we were very happy about, the waterfall didn't have much water. But it was a beautiful walk and a really nice warm day, so we really enjoyed it. We just pulled over at a parking spot and so I have no idea what, the, what this place is called but this is amazing gosh was wow it looks like a, it looks like we were in some tropical island somewhere Alright everyone, so I'm a bit sweaty, so I've just uh, done a hike near where we've been parked up. Haven't made it to the top, that's the top, but I made it to an incredible view and I wanted to share it with you. Hope you enjoyed that. I loved it being up here all by myself. That's why I got the drone up because there's no one else around. So I thought I wouldn't be bothering anyone. And what a treat that was. Sunset, well not even sunset, it's for hours till sunset, but the golden hour lasts for so long here. And I got to follow this now little waterfall river stream the whole way down. It's a pretty sketchy path. Uh, I'll let you know the name of this hike in case you want to come and do it yourself but 
yeah, just know that it's not the easiest pathway up. Oh look. Oh. We found this beach near Apple Cross when we were looking for somewhere to park for the night. The thing we love most about living in our van is being able to go to sleep and wake up by the beach or anywhere we like. As usual, we want to take a moment to mention something that's very important to us, which is leaving each place better than you found it. That way, we'll all be able to enjoy places like this for a long time to come. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe and give us a little thumbs up. We really appreciate every single person who watches our videos. So this beach is just a spot near Apple Cross. Um, we were going to include the next stop in this video, but we've decided to spend a, a day or two here in this area because it's just amazing and we've got such good weather at the moment. Yeah, we don't want to miss out on anything. We've been working a lot over the last couple of days and we just like to spend some time chilling. And from this beach, you can see the Isle of Skye and the mountains in the background is just amazing. And the visibility is really good today. And mm. some of the mountains are like perfect triangles, like this one and this one. So we're just excited. Which means we conclude our NC500 trip here. However, make sure you join us next time because we will be tackling the infamous Bilak Nabar <laughs> Pass. Uh, so, And that's gonna have its own separate video because it's, it's quite an impressive pass to drive through. So we mm. thought we'd, we'd give it its own video. Yes, and we just want to enjoy this spot here for a bit longer yeah. without rushing it. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, let us know your favorite part. It's certainly been an amazing place to drive through and to explore. Yeah. We wish we could have seen more of it, but there were some days we just couldn't do more and the midges. Yeah. And it got quite busy in some of the car parking mm. spots, which meant we just had to drive past it, which is a shame. But yeah. The midges weren't too bad though, which is always good. Mm. It's a bit windy, so I think that's keeping them away. However, I think Sky and Glencoe again is where they truly are in their billions. But you'll soon find out when we find out, so mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see, see you next, next time. Week.